there for Blacklist. And paired up with a Rafaela, should be happy with free hitting and avoiding key abilities. Blacklist is not going to be lacking for vision. I think that's one of the few, the, the, the few things that teams have been lacking towards uh, the way that they build lineups in the playoffs. And here this time around with that Rafaela, Holy Healing should be able to check in. Oh! Wow. All right, they already get an early flicker out from UA, taking quite a bit of damage here. But uh, this is kind of what we have to expect, right? A little bit of push and pull between both teams because, like you were just mentioning, Leo, you know, Blacklist International has that holy healing available oh. to them. But already Carl Teasy being quite aggressive oh. himself. Going to get the flicker Ooh. out and gets the first Wait. blood. Hold up. Is this the first time in forever we've seen Carl Teasy rock the Brandy Sports Lancelot skin? Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah, I just, good thing you noticed that, dude. That that has to be like something to empower him, to motivate him that this is where it all began for me. Would that be his final form? Like, is that technically? I am him, that's it. Yeah. yeah. He is He is declaring this match has now begun. I am, I am, oh. I, I am me. Him. Yeah, and <laughs> we, we were joking about it behind the scenes. Man, I can't believe the final form of Carl Teasy might actually be tanks a lot with hybrid build. Apparently, he's, speed he's, of the devil. He's grown. More than just. Yes. He has grown and he has become great. Turtle already up. Okay. Blackness International trying to get a position here. Once again, though, Wise exactly isn't here. They might just be willing to trade it. And as they do, Carl T's going to secure that first turtle. It looked like, you know, Wise was trying to get some pressure on that purple buff, but yes. he decided to just go back anyway. It was yeah. uh, kind of spotted out. Yeah, tremendous read there by the members of Echo, specifically the Lolita on Yaoi. Right. Now getting the vision there for Carl TZ that hey is here, that made Weiss go back. And I believe the early death onto Oh My Venus, the lack of the level four there, meant that Black said, yeah, way too risky for us to lose anymore. Let's just back off. Already, something to note, here's the XP laner some action. They didn't do the double XP rotation. Yeah, which is puzzling to me because I thought we'd be seeing that all series long. But then they decided, okay, let's just go back to basics. It's going to be a long seven-game series. I feel like this is part of just the feeling out process. But then at the same time, Rafaela in the mid roaming around, uh, helping the mid and the jungler roam around. It's more beneficial for them. Whoa. Oh, there's a lot happening here. The flicker in. Newton Blast. Owl will fall. Top side. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, a little bit of poking back and forth too. But already, Echo gaining the momentum in this game one. Raptor, you talked about how Oh My Venus has parked herself in mid. That's what happens. She yep. couldn't help Owl. Yeah, and Owl just suffered a massive Numenon Blast that made it possible because the other members of Echo were pushing back the other members of Blacklist around the middle portion of the map. Oh. That forced that to happen. Great call by Echo and great play. Oh, top side though. Owl once again going to be in trouble here. Feathered Airstrike pops the damage. Benny Cutie will get the kill. The sustain from the Holy Healing was not enough to deal with that. So yeah, the first time around, it was just the two of them up top. Yeah. Now, they have all my Venus, but Sanji comes in. Yeah, it seems like Echo are treating the XP Venus just back to what we treated it in S9. It's just going to be a dead lane. Sure, let them clear the minion waves. They will rotate. We'll put the pressure on the gold. Al has been monstrous this playoffs. Echo is respecting that, and they want to stop that. Is this Echo dictating the pace, making their own meta the way that they want to? Are the Orcas swimming up against the wave that is Blacks International? Definitely. That is what you do when you're up against the Blacklist, against your rivals. Well, they just want to go ahead and give up the turtles here. Carl T is going to secure the second one. A lot of focus on the top side, though. Looking for a possible pick here. Uh, Black International. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge that new blast up. Just help clear the waves. They kind of know, or at least they have a sense that something's going on here. Yeah, when you only see Edward in the turtle pit contesting, most likely Blacklist International has three or four roaming around together. Again, that's just familiarity by Echo, knowing that Blacklist would want to get one back over Benny Cutie to help Owl cash up just a little bit. Yep, it's basically saying, oh! oh! Owl, that's what it's saying. He can't survive that, will fall. Uh -oh. Carl TZ jumping to the backside, putting out the damage with the Thorn. Rose gonna still go, gets the flicker from Oh My Venus. There's the retribution being used as well. Still, the follow-up going to come out through. Real world manipulation going to come Whoa. down, forcing it under the target. Oh! Charges up, finds the target. UA will fall. 
And Echo still in the driver's seat. Might be looking for another. Oh. Benny Cutie gets the cleanup kill. And now it's all my Venus and Edward. Here comes Carl Teasy again. Right on through. Edward trying to salvage the situation. Has to flicker out himself, Denver. but he's stuck to. Echo dominating. 40 coming in. It's like they lived in the top lane of Blacklist for the longest time. Chugga, 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 chugga. I hear it coming. It's the Echo Express. And this is their signature play style. Play fast, farm fast, fight early. And they are, they are taking it straight to Blacklist International. Three deaths already for Owl. Look at that Harith already with a feather of heaven and Calamity Reaper in his hands. Less uh -oh. than eight minutes in. Six. K ahead, almost, at about what, five minutes. That was the worst I've seen this game so far go for Blacks International. They have yet to get a single kill, a single objective, and I'm looking for a possible way to clap back. Are we expecting Edward to go ahead and force us to go into the late game and then get a final slash in? Because we have barreled into what is possibly the earliest late game we've ever seen. This is one once again happening here. Wise gonna be quite low, one Whoa. hit away. Goes down to Sanji. Carl Teasy securing the third turtle of the game. Now Yaoi on the run here. Blacklist looking for their first kill. Wow. We'll get it with a torn apart memory. But now Echo getting in position to clap back in a counter play. Sanford gonna show himself the healing is gonna be there, but here comes Carl TZ gonna force them back. Owl flickers out. Carl TZ trying to go in, gonna get stunned with the holy baptism, and the turret will fall. Now here comes oh. Edward. Uh -oh. Trying to see if he can do anything about this. He has the tankiness. Final slash gonna be used. Feathered oh. airstrike to follow him up. He's gonna be taken away from the team with a split split. Oh. In trouble now. Wise trying to help out. On the retreat, Blacklist goes. Benny Cutie, though, forcing them back. Here's what's amazing about what Echo is doing. They want Blacklist to fight back. They know that if Blacklist just welcomes the fight, when they're not ready, Echo's going to win 100% of the time. The that, best thing that Blacklist is doing now is just tempering their expectations. That is the right call here by Echo. And yes, Blacklist can only temper their expectations and try to balance oh. it out. Yeah, we miss it. Yeah, we going to miss that, but they're still going to be able to get a kill. Wise will fall. Still, turret being worked on. Feather Air Strike to help out. Yawi will follow. One for one trade. Blacklist, though, still has a ton of work ahead of them. Yeah, that's a good trade for Echo. Roamer for the jungler for the one true king as Midnight dubbed the wise. And Echo, they can just continue this. But now at this point, this is where they start tempering their own expectations a bit. Yes, it's still roughly a 7,000 gold lead. Yes, there are still members of Blacklist catching up on items. No full build just yet for Al. He was forced to build another item just for a little bit more magic defense on his side. But that doesn't mean Blacklist can't punish. Echo, their dirty tendency of over diving under tower, they cannot do that. Just play it safe, play around the Lords, and keep it calculated. About five to six minutes, yeah, you can play hard and fast. Maybe, as you said, dirty like that. But now, as, as soon as you give Blacklist more kills, fair to be said, both of them give it to Yaoi, give it through Yaoi, it should be fine, but then again, we've seen teams fall to the same mistake, having such a great lead. Free Lord for Echo as they go ahead and march through mid. What a zone out by Sanji, by the way. Not stopping with that feather air strike. Yeah, Yawi gonna wait once again. The turret's gonna fall here. The hole comes through. There's the rear wood manipulation coming down. Sanford will fall. Was it worth the, tier the turret here? Lord now marching down the mid lane. We'll see if they can actually convert this into an inhibitor. Doesn't look like it. Way too sketchy. Nope. Because of their lineup, they can't go up into this. You've got to watch out for the positioning because of the final slash. Something to be careful about. That's a good cut by Carl T to stop the minion wave, and that will increase their chances of, yeah, successfully breaking the turret up top. Yeah, so here's what I was getting at, right? First couple of kills on Yaoi. Slowly but surely, if you let Blacklist continue at this pace, which they're slowly getting comfortable with, they will upgrade, they will upsell, and they got Sanford, who's next? 
Are you going to say Benicuti might get a death here? Maybe even Sanji? That's what Echo has to watch out for. Yeah, and Benicuti will really have to hold on to his Purify the best possible moment. But there's so many crucial crowd control abilities on the side of Echo that which one is he going to hold out for? Is it really just going to be if ever he gets final slash? If he gets taunted or whatever, knocked up? Stunned? By, stunned everything? RWM'd? Everything. So much crowd control. Benicuti has to really... Channel his inner, well, Benny Cutie, <laughs> and just be careful with this entry as he always has been. Relatively uh, bum this uh, past minute here after Blacks International successfully defended that Lord. So, yeah, you could take this as a clear sign that, hey, Echo has started to slow down. They went, uh, what, down a uh, second gear for the Echo Express, safe to say. My goodness, Benny Cutie already has a divine glaive. <laughs> 11 minutes in. This Harith is a problem, but Blacklist International, they're holding it out. They're just doing everything they can to get a little bit more farm, try to funnel whatever minion waves come in for Owl. I'm wondering if the play here for Blacklist International is just possibly give up the next Lord, right? Not fight it because of the massive, look at the gold, right? The massive gold uh, disparity here, right? You just give up the Lord. You defend in your base. You have pretty good wave clear. You can also help out with, with using that final slash. So it might just be better. Like you guys mentioned, buy some more time. There's another big item oh. pickup for Echo. So, you know, at this point, if you are Black International, you want to be able to just hold on. And then if mistakes are made, which we've seen them do before, punish, right? And then kind of slowly gain control back into this game. But right now... It is the Echo Express. Yeah. It's funny because Blacklist International has a relatively great high ground defense, but they are up against a Harith and a Farsa. They clears minion wave so fast, and if Sanji really just waits for the perfect moment to drop that feathered airstrike, that'll be two hits, and Blacklist members will be forced to go back. And that's what's scary. Blacklist can't hold out for that. Not only can they, but they can even force Echo to do such because this is going to be a Luminous Lord. But at what point, is that going to hit critical mass? Because again, Lord's going to be marching down through mid this time around, and they can find a better angle. They can sink. The last time there was a Lord, there were still tier two turrets. Yeah. Minion waves, minion waves, Echo. They can't just go with one minion wave, dive under tower, dive under turret. That has bitten them many times throughout the season, and even during the playoffs. One of the main reasons why got, they got knocked down to the lower bracket. It's the blacklist they're up against. Gotta watch out. Benny Cutie just picked up a concentrated energy. It's gonna be a lot of regen for this Harith. I wonder if Echo will just, will they actually try to brute force this? Well, here we go. Lord gonna go ahead and charge up. Blacklist International on the defense. Some more item pickups come through. Yaoi dealing with the final slash from Edward. Turret it. now falls. Concealed play gonna be used here, looking for their own angle. Carl T's gonna push them back, but Cutie using the Zaman Force. Ooh. He's gonna get cut off though, quite low. RWM gonna come down, the oh. final slash from Edward though, cleaning up the kill. Still gonna be going, yeah, we gonna charge up, buying some time. And now Sanji trying to hold on as well, the chase ensues, Flicker comes through. Carl teasing oh. down the box side, will find Edward. Still gonna be going, double kill so far. Oh. Why, what a flicker though! Sanji avoiding the appraiser's wrath. It's a triple kill for Carl Teasy. The fight was brought all the way out towards mid, and now there's only two defenders left. Now they're gonna be looking to end this game number one here on that play. They've got a few minions, but is it gonna be enough? Oh my, Venus will fall. And it's the Echo Express all the way through to game one. The Orcas draw first blood. Game one, taken here by Echo. Owl has been mon monstrous all throughout the playoffs. Echo said, hey, you guys are up against now. Hey, Owl, it's the grand finals. Yeah, we're going to make life a living hell for you. Man, that, uh, that last team fight, where you thought, you know, there, there might be some hope there. 